Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us learn another method of finding the cube root known as estimation method. But there is one limitation to this method that we should know that the number of which we have to find the cube root is a perfect cube. Let us try to understand this method by taking an example. Let us take a perfect cube number 857375. Now according to step 1, start making groups of 3 digits starting from 1's place. So let us do so. We have first group and we have second group. Step 2 says that first group will give us the 1's digit of our required cube root. We know that 375 is the first group. But how it will be useful? Let us see. Says that the number in one's place of the first group is at the unit's place of the cube root. That means from our first group that is 375 number in the one's place is 5 and this implies that in our cube root 5 will occur in the one's place in our cube root. Now according to step 3 take the next group and try to find its cube root. Our next group is 857. We know that 857 is not a perfect cube so let us try to find out the range we know that 9 cube is 729 and 10 cube is 1000. So 857 will lie between 9 cube and 10 cube. Next step states that if it is not a perfect cube, it will lie between the cube root of two numbers. Choose the smaller number. So our smaller number is 9. So we choose 9. Then and take its one's place. Since 9 is a single digit, we have 9 in the one's place. So that is the number in the tens place of the required cube root. That means 9 is in the tens place of the required cube root. Hence our required cube root will be 5 in the ones place and 9 in the tens place. And we can write that cube root of 8,5,7,3,7,5 is equal to 95. Let us read the question. Find the cube root of 17,576 using estimation method. So, let us start with step 1. In step 1, we have to form groups of 3 from the 1's place. So we have 2 groups here now. Our step 2 is to take the first group that is 576 and the digit in the 1's place that is 6 will be the one's place of the required cube root. That means 
has given us that 6 is the 1's place of required cube root. Now in step 3, we have to take the other group that is 17. Then we have to find the cube root or the number whose cube root is near to 17. We know that 2 cube is 8 and 3 cube is 27. So that means 17 is greater than 2 cube and less than 3 cube. Then we have to choose the smaller number. So the smaller number is 2 and its 1's place is also 2 and hence according to step 3, 2 lies in the tenth place of required cube root. That means that cube root of one seven five seven six is equal to twenty six. 